Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. Today we're going to be doing some Triglavian hunting in my Sniper Paladin. It's a pretty cheap fit, I've shown it off before. Uh, very basic Paladin. Tech 2 fitted pretty much all the way, apart from this large cab battery here, this faction is very efficient at destroying the Triglavians. And we're going to be doing some more right here. Uh, I actually recently found out that the Triglavian spawns can be a little bit unpredictable or there's like it is predictable but it was not exactly how I thought they were going to be uh, as I've previously thought that they were and what I mean by that is that you know how the, if you've not watched my previous videos how it works is with Triglavian hunting in high sec there are these wormholes that spawn now the XBX wormhole right here I know it is because I scanned this down before I remember the cosmic signature ID this is a Triglavian wormhole in systems that have Triglavian wormholes then you can have Triglavian spawn and the thing is they have this uh, guarding fleet near this wormhole and if you destroy that then the NPCs that spawn around at planets because you can find this like guarding fleet at planets but you can also find them around here at planets as well so the ones you want to farm are these ones of plants because there's only one guarding fleet. After you've destroyed this guarding fleet, it'll not respawn. So when you farm the Triglavians like repeatedly, then it will be at planets because you can find the like the multiple spawns spawning in. So this is the thing I didn't really understand before because I always found that there was sort of like a pattern where if I destroy the fleet here, right? I'll destroy the fleet here. Usually what happens is that when you destroy the fleet, then they spawn in like, new NPCs like around the system. Initially, there's only like a few spawns near these planets. When you've destroyed the one in the, uh, the wormhole, then there'll be more aggressive spawns spawning around the system. So that's good if you want to farm them as much as possible because then they'll be spawning more, right? Oh, well, there's this thing. Uh, there's this thing where if you destroy the spawn at the wormhole, there are usually these like initial spawns near the planets before you've destroyed the one at the wormhole if that makes any sense like there are already some fleets around here near the planets while this one is still here it's not like the when there's a fleet at the wormhole it's the only one in the system there's also some few fleets then the thing is if you destroy this one there's still going to be some fleets at these planets and you have to destroy those ones at the planets as well it seems like and you have to wait a bit of time. I don't know if you have to destroy the fleets at the planets, but at least there's a bit of a delay. So you destroy the one at the wormhole. There's a bit of a delay of like, I think it's like maybe 20 minutes. It sometimes can be quite long. I find it to be varying a bit. 15, 20 minutes, sometimes even half an hour, something like that. Then you come and you see the big, big fleet spawning in. And that's where we are right now. So about half an hour ago, I was here. I destroyed the fleets in the wormhole. Then I destroyed also these fleets like around the planet. So basically I full cleared the whole system and nothing spawns. This usually happens and I noticed this myself, but I've found that this other people have been saying this as well. Uh, the mechanics are quite mysterious with this, but I full cleared the system and nothing usually spawns when you full clear the system initially while you've destroyed the one at the wormhole. But then after a while, maybe like half an hour or something, they start spawning again and then they'll just continuously respawn, 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 respawn. And that's where we are now. That's where we are going to wreck this Triglavian. So let's hope for the best. I've actually got a mobile tract unit already deployed here and this was one of the fleets that were initially there, like these initial fleets, you could say, that were at the planets that were there that I cleared along with the one at the wormhole fleet. So we're going to go to this mobile tractor unit here. And I always put my mobile tractor units 100 kilometers away from the planet because of the event of them having a new fleet spawn in on top of the planet and I'm salvaging, it could be big problems because they could maybe wreck me. Now here, there's not, not the case, but it very well could be that there were people that were spawn in. So we've got this mobile tractor unit over here. Let's see if we've got some good isk. I actually got quite a bit of stuff earlier today. Uh, or when I mean earlier today, I mean like half an hour ago. It was so good. It was like just half an hour. I think it was not even half an hour. Maybe 10 minutes maybe? 10 minutes of Triglavian hunting. And it yielded me like I think 80 million isk or something like that. Really good isk you can sometimes get. Depending on how good the fa the the drops are of the loot. Like you can get the Triglavian survey data. And then also the salvage can also vary a little bit. Sometimes it can really be very good as well. So I was very lucky, like just from the one fleet at the wormhole fleet, I managed to pull in like about 80 million, something like that. Maybe 70, 80 million. I can't remember. Uh, it was it's still quite a lot of risk. So we're just going to salvage this stuff right here. This is the reason that I carry two salvages right here so that I can salvage this stuff quickly. But I have one mobile track unit because this can be useful sometimes when you want to like get a good uh, tractor beam going on because they can sometimes spawn a little bit far away, these wrecks. So that's why... 
uh, I like to have at least one tracked beam instead of just three salvages. These tech two salvages are really boss. Like salvages, really great. Now I'm I'm actually on purpose uh, pointing my paladin towards this, uh, just like out here, that I, uh, away, because, like you could say, when you warp to a planet at zero, it puts you like somewhere like a few thousand kilometers away from the planet. It's hard to explain, but like if you warp the like actual warp in point of planets is not directly in the planet like it is to some place here but we are at least 100 kilometers away from the warp in point which is like somewhere here that's the warp in point if i were to warp to a planet at zero and that is where the triglavians could spawn in so uh, the reason why i point my ship out like this is that i can use my mjd if they were to spawn in another fleet here because it does happen and it will happen sooner or later if you're triglavian hunting that a uh, new fleet will spawn in while you are collecting your wrecks or loots so you have to always be on your toes. You, you, you never need to just like, relax in these Triglavian systems. I have, in fact, lost a Naga <laughs> at one point. I was using a sniping Naga as an alpha clone. Uh, and what I did was I warped to a planet uh, to zero. Just, I was just randomly warping into a planet at zero in a Triglavian system. And what do you know? There was already a fleet there. And I got popped instantly because they do scram from time to time, depending on what the spawns they are. And overall, they do a lot of damage. So they scram me. So they just, and even then, I don't even think I would have survived, even if there was no scram, because they just they just shattered me straight away. It's really no chance my naga had, because it was a sniping naga. It was relying on sniping. It was not relying on uh, tanking them like I use in a golem. Okay, let's see. How much did we get from that little spawn over there? Not so much. Only ten million. And we can see here how much we've we got here. Ooh, 90 million. So I actually had more than I thought. So I had 90 million then from that previous spot. That was really great. All right. Let's go here. We've got these mobile track units here. Yep. Because the mobile track units are good to have for uh, the like uh, the loot pu pulling in situation. <laughs> I mean, I have multiple ones here because you can I sort of put multiple tra mobile track units. I sometimes do that depending on how impatient I am. You can like put multiple ones and try to scoop and look quicker. Otherwise, what I tend to do is just that I go through multiple spawns and just, well, one is tractoring and stuff, I go for the next spawn. But it's not so safe to do that because someone could obviously steal your stuff. Okay, so you see here, I've got a notepad and I made these uh, kind of like notes here with the ammo types. This is actually quite useful. I went in the app called Pifa and I put in my fit and I looked at targets and different ammunition types at different ranges. And when I was using something called a Synth Frentix booster, so this is like when I'm using Synth Frentix booster with this tracking computer with the range scripting and bastion mode, uh, these are the like the optimal ranges to use the damage type. So under 95 kilometers, best to use multi-frequency. Under 130, best to use X-ray. Under 156, best to use ultraviolet. Over 156, best to use infrared. So it's good to uh, like I can it's, it's sometimes hard to remember these when you're flying so many other ships in you online so I just keep this here now as a handy note here cheat sheet to be able to have the most optimal ammo type all right let's see now we can remove this war power right here we don't need this let's see now okay there seems to be stuff at Isenaros 5 we warp in at 100 and we make a warp out one there we go put general up have our inventory out here so that we can deploy the mobile tracked unit straight away activate passive modules and we are good to go we're going all right this is always the critical moment is always here in the beginning if you mess this stuff up you can potentially lose your ship like if you were to warp in at zero on these guys but luckily it's not really the case okay listen where are they they are over there we're going to move our ship here Oh wait, we forgot to make a warp out dam. Oh. Okay, we are going to just move on here. Deploy mobile tractor unit. And MJD. That was a bit um that was uh not good of me. 
it can happen sometimes you just you get too stressed out about this first. this is what i mean like it is a critical point here in the beginning you want to make sure you get that warp out done and then you deploy the mobile track unit and all that kind of stuff well if for you guys who don't know what the warp out is basically what i mean is that i have a bookmark that's maybe a thousand kilometers away from here that is like sort of positioned so that i'm always going back so like you can see i'm going back away from the spawn so that if i were to have like a bookmark a few thousand kilometers away then i could always like warp back to that if I were to ever need to, like, in a case of, like, an emergency situation, I could just use my MJT. I don't really need to, but it's very handy sometimes if you want to, like, get a bit of a scouting of the situation. Because sometimes these spawns can be, like, spread out a bit. And it would be nice to be able to just warp to this bookmark somewhere here, where you can just go and just, like, spy on the area. Like, you have a bit of a perch point, sort of. So here, this Triglavins is sleeping. Um, it's a bit annoying sometimes when they're sleeping, they don't do much, but, you know, uh, who am I to complain that they won't shoot us? I mean, what I mean by it being annoying is that they're not getting close to us, because we're obviously having to use the long-range ammunition now that uses le that does less DPS when they're further away like we're doing now. I always sort my distance, and it was actually quite a long time since I did Triglavian hunting, it was quite a long time, so I'm still... As you maybe saw now in this initial little spawn in right here, it was a bit rusty. <laughs> but it's the case with a lot of things in EVE Online. You get it and you get it back with a lot of practice. All right, got the anchoring cruiser right here. You can see we're over 156 kilometers, so it's better to use infrared. And we actually should use a synth frantics because this is what this is based on. I can imagine all these numbers are skewed to slightly less if we do not use the Synth Frantics booster, because Synth Frantics increases our optimal range. But you can see they're starting to aggress now. Hopefully there'll be more spawns apart from this, because sometimes you can get these bad spawns that just like, don't spawn in much. Uh, sometimes you can get the good ones, as you can see that there's some big ones nearby. I mean, if there is, it doesn't matter. We can just go to the next spawn. Nothing says we have to stay here and wait for this mobile tracking it to pull in stuff. Ideally, what would have been best is if we have some form of Noctis, like an alt or a friend, pulling stuff in whose positive strandings with Triglavians. Because then what the Noctis could do is he could just sit here at zero and he could then just pull in stuff and salvage stuff and not take any aggro. Now, there's obviously risks with that. Gankers could probably kill you, but still, it's not that bad. Uh, the thing is, I want to do this completely solo. Uh, that's why I don't like to mess with alts too much. I mean, I've tried a bit of multi-boxing stuff in the Abyss. Uh, I'm still not too a big fan of that. It's too much stress. I like to do everything by myself. So I sort of have to have this little bit of risk right here that people could potentially steal my uh, loot right here. But luckily, it's not too common that happens. Yeah, sometimes happen. It's unfortunate, but it's not too common. Uh, if I really wanted to secure my loot, what I could do is use something like a golem that could salvage on the fly or at least be a lot closer so that it could pull in stuff a lot quicker. Sun, is there anything here? They often spawn at the sun. There we go, we see some stuff here in 3. Uh, let's see, 2.1, 2.9. Okay, we can, so we can sort of deduce which one it is by going to here. So it must be at 2.9, because at 2.6 there was nothing there. Alright, so then it must be in this one here. And we warp here at 100. There we go. And we will name this to mobile truck unit 1 mobile Truck unit one. This is so that we can like keep a little bit of uh, idea of which is which. Warp out one. Oh wait, no, this is warp out two because we're going to number two now. Keep an eye on the AU because we're going to deploy this warp out here, which I forgot to do before. About under ten thousand usually is a good. There we go. Oof! Wow. Wow. Oof! That's a lot of people right there. Wait, why are they here? Oh. Uh-oh. Will we lose our paladin now? Why are they here? Zero. Please. Oh, wait. Maybe we can use this. Maybe we can use this. Come on. Oh. Wait, no. Oh, it didn't work. Ah, we lost the paladin. We lost the paladin, guys. <laughs> we lost the paladin. Oh, my gosh. We really lost the paladin just like that. Well... That's the way it goes sometimes. Why? Why? Let's warp out here. Do not want to get my implants lost. Ooh, that golem died as well. Wow. That golem died right before our eyes. Oh, that's uh 
sad to see that someone lost their golem. Ugh. Let's see now. What is the name of that guy? Because we can maybe cooperate a little bit. Try to retrieve the loot. Oof. That's not nice to see, actually. <laughs> I was... Because um... the thing is, usually this doesn't happen because people... Like, we warped in 100. So it usually wouldn't be an issue. Thing, we can warp here. Look, warp out here. Uh, wait. Oh, we got our Dramiel still. Yeah. Okay, we got a Dramiel. Good. I was thinking uh, uh, we were in our pod, but we're in a Dramiel. Okay. Let's see now. What we can do here is try to retrieve our loot. Maybe. Where is our wreck here? Let's see now. If the, who is the guy here? Can we contact this guy? Mr. Is he still here? No, he's not here. Okay. This is unfortunate. We lost all our stuff. But I guess that's just the way it's going to be. Like, the thing is, this guy, I think, what he did was he pulled them out too far. You can see if he's... I'm not going to steal this guy's loot just to be a bit of, like... To show a bit of courtesy that this guy has golem. It's already sad enough that he lost his golem. But you can imagine that he took already the good stuff from it. You can see here. Uh, oh, he got a lot of stuff here. I'll say, wait, let's just take a talk to him because he probably needs some help right here. Hey, uh, 07, I found your wreck safe now because I lost my paladin too, and it's a bit, uh, I, can, I can feel how he feels. It, it was very unfortunate. He drew them out so that when I warped in 100, it was just a, a really big problem right there. And then they had to go aggro for me as well because the thing is, like, I think what happened was that it could have also been that he was kiting as well like me and they maybe got on top of him and that's where he like uh it didn't go good you can see we're 100 kilometers away from this customs office which is usually around the area they spawn in oof yeah he lost a very expensive ship right here i want to take this stuff and you know maybe i will i'll just go suspect and just uh, take them but i will give them back to him thing is there's not enough space so I can't fit this stuff in here. We can maybe take the expensive stuff. And I'll just give it back to him. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Because uh, he must have... Well, he, I can imagine what he did was he was kiting like us. He was probably out here kiting. The Triglavians were about to kill him. And I just got in here and I died as well. He just died. And then what happened was that... Uh, yeah, everything was on top of me and they just wrecked me as well. Usually if they would just spawn here, it would be no problem. But in this case, it was not a good problem. So, hmm. I'm just thinking, how could we avoid this in the future? Because it was a bit difficult. Because here, like, we couldn't really do much. Obviously, they just went on top of us straight away. Hmm. It could maybe be a possibility what we could, one could do. This would be a very try hard. But what one could do is maybe make bookmarks around these places. Like these warp out bookmarks on all planets. I don't know. I feel like that would be too much effort, though. But, <laughs> okay, but what we can do here is we can give this guy his stuff. Let's see. Now, we'll take the expensive stuff. So, how big is this? Anything expensive here? We'll put ourselves into partial safety. Um, What is the expensive stuff? This is expensive. 640 million. Yeah, I'll take this. Okay. There we go. And it'll go to the restock area here. And we'll give him a contract. Warp drive active. Contract to you now. Yeah. This is... Uh, it must be really rough losing your bling golem. Like, I lost... Uh, I, I still feel a bit like down that I lost my paladin right there. But it was a pretty cheap paladin. He lost his very expensive golem. Or at least it seemed to be pretty expensive golem. I mean, he had pretty much a lot of bling stuff right there. So, hmm. Ah, this sucks. It's just the way it is, just the way it is. I'm just trying to, like, the thing I'm that's going through my mind is how I should avoid this in the future. How would I avoid this in the future? What would I do? Because it was just a pure coincidence that guy happened to be there. And he happened to also, like, say he was tanking them. If he was tanking them, then I would have, then he would have probably taken aggro or kept taking aggro. And it would be more likely that I would have been able to MJD out of there. And if I were able to MJD out of there... I would have probably been able to, uh, I would have been probably able to actually uh, help him and make him survive because, I mean, I am pretty effective destroying stuff in my paladin, so I probably would be able to, you know, knock out all these guys. So, hmm, there's uh, a lot of thoughts going through my mind now because I've never really considered this. I mean, I have thought 
at one point that oh what if someone baits out triglavians that they just happen to sport in on the area where i warp in at 100 kilometers but it's never really even come close to that happening before and it just happened to be a really big spawn there as well which is very unfortunate for that guy let's see now where is this guy here we can maybe look on uh, Zikil. Zikil board. Zikil board. I'm going like. Is it Nairos maybe? Is it Nairos? If, can, if this registered the kills right there. It was just. The coincidence was just too much there. You know, we popped right after each other because I saw the golem. And then you saw that he went into his frigate escape bay just like a few seconds after we warped in. Because I actually thought what happened was that maybe someone on purpose baited out the triglavians because they knew what we were doing but it was not the case because i was just my instant thought was you know how paranoid people can be about evil online is that or people just try to do everything against you and i mean i can imagine people would do that they on purpose bait the triglavians into areas where possible sniper fleets would land i mean you'd have to really be dedicated to do that but uh my guess was that oh someone was baiting them out but no I was surprised now that, oh, okay, someone actually did die right there, and that's the reason why it happened. Someone was sniping like us as well, because it was pretty much perfectly on us. They were on, like, perfectly on us. So he must have warped in at zero, uh, or must warped in at 100, and he probably warped in at 100 from the same area we warped in from as well, because it felt like he was just, like, perfect. Like, we we warped in at the area, he warped to the Trigavia spawn from the same area we previously were at, and that's how we managed to get there. If we had just come there a few minutes earlier, oh, we could have maybe saved his golem. Oh, I feel bad for the guy. Okay, but here there doesn't seem to be much going on. We can maybe go to that, uh, to the previous wrecks or something. Did we deploy our second mobile tractor unit? Because I was very surprised. Like, what I thought was first, I saw that. Oh, there's a golem there. Okay, it's a bit unfortunate, but maybe we can, like, cooperate. You know, we some of us, he kills his NPCs or I kills my NPCs. You know, we do a little bit double uh, double time like that, like, a lot quicker. But then I realized, wait, oh, they're all at zero. Uh oh not a good idea. <laughs> oh. It could also be good maybe to go into Triglavian systems where there's, like, few planets. And you could have these warp pouts already there f to begin with so that you could just to have everything safe there already pre-done i mean i can imagine i wouldn't be surprised if there are people who do that uh, and there weren't a whole lot of wrecks here as well it seems like they p killed him quite quickly as well this all happened really quickly we've got our suspect timer here so i can't forget about this this is something i just need to keep in mind in case we see someone on here i don't want to have people come for us See, I've always found you suspect. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, unfortunate. Let's see if we can grab anything from this wreck here of a paladin. You might, if we got salvage it. Yeah, we could uh, just salvage these wrecks here. We could salvage the wrecks, yeah. That'll be good. What is the value here? Is the ammunition worth anything? I think so. Tachyon beam lasers are worth quite a bit. Here we go imperial navy what is worth here something how much space have we got not a whole lot of space the mobile tractor units are very spacious they use a lot of space ah. all right you know what we can do here is just grab our salvages and we'll salvage the wrecks i'll salvage the golem wreck um not because i want to be a douche but just because i find it unlikely that he's going to come back here since he doesn't seem like he's even responding to my private message here so we'll salvage them because you can actually get a pretty decent salvage from uh, Tech 2 battleships. So we're going to do that. We're going to equip our Dremel with a bit of uh, salvages. This is a travel fit Dremel which I use to be able to like grab stuff uh, or like grab stuff that I need some supplies from somewhere for example. Um, say I am out here and doing Triglavian farming and I run out of ammunition. I can always just go and grab some in uh, my Dremel. Okay, well, we've got some salvages probably somewhere, maybe. Do we, perhaps? No, it doesn't seem like it. Let's see, did we drop any? Did we drop any? Salvages did not drop. Okay, no. Does the Dramiel have a drone bay? It does have a drone bay. Okay. Yeah, okay, we can use salvage drones. Great. We have to, like, sort of use a bit of creativity here. 
Okay, drum bay, drum bay, and drum bay. We've got another one. Salvage? No, we're not getting any salvage drones left. Okay, we'll go here, start this salvage operation, and we'll go at high speed so that we can avoid potential vigilantes who are going to try to kill my suspect, Dramiel. Alright, we'll just warp out right here. This so guy, guy is still not replied. Hmm. Yeah, I want to see it in Zika. I want to see what happened because I'm quite curious what kind of fit he had. Because he had cruise missile fit, and I don't think the cruise missile golem is too good. Because the thing is, like, it doesn't apply that good to small stuff. Okay. When you are really far away with turret-based weaponry, you apply really damn good. Like you saw before, we were one-shotting these. Uh, we were we were one-shotting the uh, like the small little frigates. It was so good. But with the missiles, it won't be the same thing. Like, that's not how they work. They work differently. It's just that when stuff is far away, it'll apply pretty much the same with missiles as it was if it's very close. So, I mean, it's not going to apply too well to the small stuff. And then on top of that, it's got to be, you've got to be able to, like, time it takes for you to be able to, like, get the missiles to hit. While, on the other hand, when you're 200 kilometers away with these tachyon beam lasers, they hit instantly. So it's really great. And that was really fast. We managed to salvage them really quickly there. Four million only. Ah, that's pretty unfortunate. Like, from a whole golem, you just salvage. Just salvage a mere four million. Very unfortunate. Hmm. We can maybe take these mobile track units if we want. This could be good to have. We can go to our other mobile track unit. Just get some stuff from there. Maybe grab one of these, maybe? There we go. How much space do we have? We can only carry one. Alright, maybe we can go and cloak? No, we can't cloak while well, we've got drones. Okay, that was something. My paladin was worth, I guess, a little bit. No, never mind. The paladin hardly gave anything, I think. It was just this nanite compound. Unfortunate, unfortunate. We'll warp to this mobile track unit over here. See if we got anything from here. Put our security status back to, uh, or set our safety back to green. Uh, it doesn't seem like we've got anything particular. Uh, at least there's nothing. Uh, there was not that many wrecks we had here, but at least maybe we got something. Nah, it wasn't that much. We can just use our salvage drones to salvage away. And we're insta aligning out, so. Are we able to insta align? That's what this Dremel is good at. So if someone comes here, then it's all right. If we're quick enough, that is. I mean, if we're AFK, obviously it's going to be a different story. <laughs> yeah, nothing like crazy in the loot, unfortunately. I would have liked it to be the case. But uh, we we learned some. We had a bit of a lesson right here. Exactly how we can prevent this in the future. I'm a little bit uncertain. If you guys have any tips, let me know, because I would be very curious to know how you do that. I think what could be a thing is that, because the thing is, I've noticed a pattern. There's some certain Triglavian or systems that are being invaded by Triglavians. It has something to do with the proximity to Pochvin systems. So I think that there are like certain, only a certain amount of systems really that can have Triglavians in them. And I think that people who do them like really professionally, unlike me, can do like have these pre-made bookmarks all over the place and planets so that what i could do if i want to be extra safe right is that when i go to a new spawn i just warp to the warp out like if we would have warp outs at all planets and then we just warp to that then we would just see that oh yeah okay we the stuff is going crazy they're always all safe to just jump in at 100 they will be all right so i think they could be more prepared in that regard on the other hand it would be a lot of work and i don't think i can really be bothered to do that Maybe there's a bookmark folder someone has that I could get a share from. <laughs> but ah, that, was a, that was a bit unfortunate, a bit unfortunate. Always imagine, like, well, what if the Triglavians somehow were to spawn in directly on top of us? Uh, here is exactly what happened. And I guess you guys got to sort on live camera, unless it's instead of me having to tell you the aftermath of it. <laughs> ah, okay, let's see now. We've not got enough space, it seems like, to carry all this stuff, so we can maybe jettison this trinary thing because this thing takes a lot of space you can just have this one go for here you can just stack them all put these oh we don't have enough space ah we got more trinary stuff oh it's a bit annoying we should have waited until the uh 
until I had salvaged all of them because basically what it's doing is when my cargo space is filled up with the salvage is just dumping them into space. It could be this guy is offline actually. I mean, I don't blame him if he would have rage quit because of that. That would have been very frustrating. I mean, to lose your whole golem. Has it respawned now or this the uh, thing now? Nah. Hmm. Okay, we got these here. We can go back and just restock at the restock station right here. Maybe we can look at like Golem, see if there's a loss right here. Lossy loss. Any recently? No, there's none recently. Strange. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it was. It was a sad end for the Paladin. Unfortunately, he didn't die a glorious death. It was more like just a massacre right there. <laughs> It'd be nice to be maybe really trying our hardest and then getting overwhelmed, but it was a pretty of a pretty one uh, one sided battle right there. Let's see if we can just dump these, dump our the, the supplies we've looted from the mobile tractor unit. We'll go and grab some more stuff from that mobile tractor unit over there. I'm very curious what fit he is using because. Can see maybe like get an idea because I have fought bigger spawns than that in my torpedo golem. I really think the torpedo golems are a lot better when you're gonna go from the golem route because sniping, as I said before, is not that great. You don't. It's not like you can one shot stuff like you can with tachyon beam lasers or a railgun uh, Chronos. Uh, you're still gonna be applying it just as well. So may as well just do the close range style and brawl, and you also do a turn more damage as well when you go for that route as well. So that's why I think torpedo golems are a lot better. And then just focus more on tank, and you should be have a good time. Let's see if we can grab some stuff from here. Not enough cargo space. Okay, restock and dock here. Let's dump this stuff here. We can grab some stuff maybe from the the like aftermath place from before. See if we can like salvage anything of value. <laughs> Let's see that warp out too. Let's go here. Our suspect timer is also running out, so that's great. It'll be a bit more safe roaming around here. Let's see what we find here. Is there going to be more NPCs? No, that's great. Okay. That's the good thing about the warp out. You can always just like get there, get an idea what's going on. Did we just manage to destroy any Triglavians? No, no, we didn't manage to destroy any Triglavians, unfortunately. It was pretty much just a slaughter right there. Can maybe take some. Could we maybe use our drones to salvage some of these? Yeah, perhaps we could just go for some of these right here. So, okay, what's the name of this guy? Mistun 2. Let's see now if we can maybe just put his name here. This private chat. I'm guessing what happened is he logged off. That's why I'm guessing what happened. Because he's not replying here. And I would have guessed that he would have said something. If he was recently active with the golem stuff. Um, hmm. Okay but what I will do is. I will set up contract up for him. And I'll give him one week. If he doesn't reply for one week. I'll just keep the stuff like a little greedy scrub. But I'll give him one week. And I think that we'll send him an eve mail too. I will send him an eve mail. Saying that got your loot. Loot. I was a paladin that just happened to warp in after you got popped. I warped in at 100km intending to kite. That did not work out. <laughs> because like it was he just drew them all out and I was completely unaware of that and that really caused this whole situation. My kiting paladin warped in on the fleet of trigs at zero resulting in my poppage i scooped your loot it's in contract in isenairos fly safe friend or oh, seven <laughs> okay uh let's see now we can maybe just grab the rest of these wrecks here and I think that's all we can do, really. There's a large wreck. It could be good to go for the large wreck because they can be worth a bit. You see how fast we are with this uh, 
MWD right here. 4K, like really crazy speeds we've got going on. You can have this idle drone do a little bit of work, stop being lazy. <laughs> okay, but this is this was quite a funny situation, right? You <laughs> know how it just happened to be exactly then. So I got it on camera on my YouTube channel. I will post a video later. All right, I think that this is good. I'll send in the mail. Okay, we've got all the loot as well. Maybe we don't have space to have all the stuff. No, we got some space. Okay, we got some loot. I mean, that eight million from those little containers over there. Let's see if we can grab some like a mobile track team or something. Maybe there's a, we can just get another one. I mean, it's, it's very petty isk we've got right here in relation to what we lost, but it's nice to you know have those mobile track tuners. They're very useful. I think I might come back here in like a badge or something. Grab the rest of the stuff. Grab this maybe? No, there's not enough space. What? I do not need these. Stupid trinary state things. Do not need this. Ditch them, please. There we go. Put the heat sink right here. That's good. Okay. Let's see now. We can grab the rest of these trinary state things. They take so much space. Okay. Restock station. Let's go. Yep, we'll dock up here. This is Jnu Biotech Production. I think you could sell even some blue loot here or blue loot or Triglavian survey data. Let's see. Lavian survey database. Can we sell them here? Nope, we can't. Okay. We can then say maybe um, sleep uh, data network, data library. Because I think that the, you can. Yeah, look at that. You can sell it here. The sleeper data library, the kind of blue loot you get from wormholes, you can sell it in this station right here. That's pretty cool. All right, well, let's make the contract for the guy. And we will then call it a day. It has been a pretty intense day right there. <laughs> With the, oof, all this stuff that went down, losing my paladin just like that. And that was uh, unfortunate. And then seeing another golem lose his stuff, that is also... Uh, pretty unfortunate but at least i guess if, in some ways i i don't like to say, i feel bad for saying it but in some ways i feel good for not being the only one to lose a golem because um like because the other guy lost it i feel like okay i'm not the only one who got popped there uh, we'll send it to him your golem stuff there we go put it in one week maybe never mind let's just do four weeks i think it'll be nicer to be four weeks all right good there we go Put the contract to him. There we go. A bit of drama. A bit of spiciness for the Triglavian hunting. Unfortunate. But <laughs> that's the name of the game. When you're in a game as big as EVE Online, almost anything can happen. Because you've got players who think in certain ways. And they're going to do certain things. Completely unpredictable times of the day. So <laughs> it was a bit of an adventure. But pretty fun to see. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.